The fifth update for Forza Motorsport is releasing this month. It is not too far away and it really is the most crucial update we've had in Forza Motorsport so far by a long way. For the past couple of updates now, we've all thought, right, update three, this is going to be the update that sorts the game out. And then it was update four. Now it's update five. I think a lot of players are getting fed up with thinking, right, this is where it's going to change. This is the turnaround point. We've not seen that turnaround point yet for the majority of players. And I think, and I hope, and I pray that update five does that. Let's discuss update five today about will it save Forza Motorsport? What can we see in update five as there's lots of things we can figure out. So for updates for Forza Motorsport, we did have a hotfix update last week to alleviate crashes in certain scenarios on Daytona. That was the only thing that was sorted within this hotfix. There was nothing else. At least they could get that fixed on the spot. Now, update five, we have actually kind of been told what's going to be in there. The things that are confirmed, we've already spoke about. The Nürburgring is coming, more specifically the Nordschleife. And the huge list of bugs and fixes that was summarized. This isn't kind of the final list of bugs and fixes. This is just summarized. We'll probably get a confirmation of exactly what's coming next week. But there is a very, very, very big list of fixes and the three topics that they are focusing on the most, the AI, Forza regulations and the car progression, they are also potentially addressing those within Update 5 as well. So not only is Update 5 bringing us the Nordschleife, fixing a ton of things, it's also potentially addressing three issues or problems with the, you know, the systems in the game. Now, on relatable topics to do with how Forza Motorsport is doing, we can see the player count is still struggling at 500 players just six minutes ago. Um, it's really showing no signs of picking up. Yes, this is only on Steam, but when you compare it to Forza Horizon 5, it's a big difference. The thing to keep an eye out for will be the player count after Update 5 releases. It will no doubt have a spike for Update 5, but will it stay consistent and not level out too low after the update releases after a week or so. Now obviously with the Nordschleife coming, that's a massive bonus that will bring a lot of players to the game that have been waiting for this track, that only want to play Forza Motorsport for this track, they can finally come to the game. Now Turn 10 said that it was finished ahead of schedule, whereas I think they finished it purposely quicker and released it now rather than later to save the game. Think of it this way, Forza Motorsport obviously has a lot more issues at launch than they intended. A lot more people disliked the car progression system than they intended. A lot of things didn't really go to plan, which means they are probably working on certain things that they didn't expect to have to work on. Which makes me wonder how on earth did the Nürburgring finish ahead of schedule when a lot of the studio is probably working on things that weren't planned, does that make sense? So it's great that they finished it, that's fantastic, but I don't think it was accidentally finished ahead of schedule. I think they really wanted to get it out there. Related Xbox slash Forza news, now Microsoft laid off 1900 Blizzard and Xbox employees just a couple of weeks ago. Now I have heard that Turn 10 Studios was not affected by this and that they are okay which is great news. The last thing we need is Turn 10 to lose some manpower, or woman power, I should say. I suppose you can't say manpower nowadays. That's the last thing Turn 10 will need with how Forza Motorsport is looking at the moment. So as far as I've heard, the game is all okay. In that aspect, I've seen a few developers sort of speaking up on Twitter or X. Now the tone that these guys are tweeting out, it doesn't seem like they're suggesting that working at Turn 10 on these kind of things is the best thing in the world. They make it sound kind of I don't know, stressful. But regardless of what's going on behind the scenes with the developers, layoffs, whatever, as long as they can deliver what they have suggested they might be able to deliver for update five with all the fixes, the car progression changes, this, that, and the other, it might just save the game. The reception to what they've said hasn't actually been too bad. Now I'm going to pull up a few random examples hand-picked from comment sections and stuff like that. It does seem like the community is quite heavily divided, and I mean heavily divided in what they think about Forza Motorsport. Mr. Fishsticks 266 seriously, who defends this game is not normal. This is obviously a player who is so unhappy with Forza Motorsport that they can't comprehend how someone will defend it. Whereas other people thinking, right, Update 5 actually looks like it's worthy of being called an update and I'd agree. Hotspace 5170 also agrees. HD504X is just fed up with the game, thinks the game is dead, 
all of this should have been in from the start and to be honest i kind of agree with that you know it's really back and forth and it's very difficult to tell what the majority of the community actually thinks about update 5 and i think it is obviously the majority of the community that matters because that is what will bring in the bigger player count now i want to do a bit of a test the community seems to be heavily divided on whether update 5 is good or not whether the game is good or not I'm going to put a comment in the comment section below, I'm going to pin it. If you're happy with Forza Motorsport and you think Update 5 is going to make it even better, I want you to like that comment. If you are unhappy with Forza Motorsport, I want you to reply to that comment with the main singular reason that you're not happy with Forza Motorsport. The cars that come in Update 5 might actually be insane too. We don't know what cars are coming in Update 5, but if they are of if they're good talking points that will only fuel to how serious update 5 is going to be we can have a few guesses we we know that the leaked car list looks like this now the maserati mt20 has been added to it recently as the maserati mt20 was spotted in one of the car division sort of thumbnail things that was later changed now the reason i think the maserati mt20 might actually come in update 5 that is because the maserati mt20 was leaked in horizon 5 many 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 months ago a long time ago now european automotive is the next update for horizon 5 which i have a sneaky feeling is finally the update we get the maserati mc20 and with cars like that they often sometimes release at the same time for both games like the gordon murray automotive came out for forza motorsport and horizon 5 around the same time if the maserati mc20 is coming in the european update for horizon 5 it might be in this update 5 as well either that or they're having licensing issues same with the recent mgs as well the mg mg7 and the mg cyberster added to Fi horizon 5 recently now they're added to that they might come to motorsport next update as well those are just some possibilities and then we've got the four car pass cars as well that we can presume are going to be these four maybe one last thing to end on it's quite funny i saw nick share this on twitter so i'm going to steal it from him because that's what i'm like we know that daytona was added to forza motorsport in the last update now the recent imsa 24 hours of daytona race i think this is what this was the commentators had this to say on the pit exit ah. and they have cut back across i think they'll get a drive through for that gavin uh, had to come through the grass. Uh, that's, that's not the paying console. attention, John. That well, that's what... exactly right. That's the uh, the console game exit because yeah. uh, is, it, is it at Forza? Oh, yeah, Forza I, I... that still has the tyre barrier there. I found that quite funny. When Daytona was revealed for Forza Motorsport, it was a bit weird that they had that tyre barrier thing near the pit entry or pit exit, I should say, sorry. And those commentators are having a bit of a dig that these real life drivers we're trying to take the same pit exit as Forza Motorsport has. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let us see just what Update 5 does next week. Hopefully, it changes the game. Cheers.